The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Safina Insecticide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Bernard Tobin back on the Soybean School with Dale Cowan from Agris Cooperative. How's it going, Dale? Going really good. Hey, today I want to talk a little bit about digital agriculture on the Soybean School. And, you know, you've got your phone in your hand. There's so many tools we have now where we can go to the field, do tests, do trials, and, you know, take that information, as I say, right to our phones, right back to our computers, learn about technology. Talk about what you're doing in this field and how you're getting it done. Yeah, well, so right now I'm, I'm using what we call the FieldView app, and... Uh, uh, the farmer has shared his data, so he recorded his planting activity. We know where all the varieties are and what the seeding rates are. We've got a treatment in this field. I know exactly what three reps in this field. So I'm using the technology to understand what we've done. So that was part of the plan. Now out here finding and observing, uh, taking some notes, taking some pictures, going to get the, the yield data next uh, at the fall. And then we're going to put all that stuff together and do the analysis, find out whether this treatment uh, has provided any uh, any return on investment. And uh, being out here, when yield is being formed is when you learn a lot of things rather than wait to harvest and then wonder what the differences are. So out here, we're seeing some marked differences in this treatment. So Dale, you've got one treatment replicated three times. Yep. Talk about what you're seeing. You know, I always say you're, you're, we're looking at some biologicals. Yeah, we are. So just looking uh, between the, uh, the check and the treatment here, it's a little hard to see out in the field and it's only one plant comparison, but I did see this observation early on, right at R1, beginning of flowering. So under the treatment, I'm seeing a little, little shorter inner nodes, a few more nodes in the main stem, slightly taller plant. So it'll be interesting to follow this through to harvest because we, we don't count right now uh, what we're seeing in the fields, but it's interesting to observe the differences in inner node length and number of main stem nodes with pods on them. So if the treatment is designed to relieve stress, it certainly looks like it's done that, but the final yield is what tells the tale. And, but at least we've got it all recorded we got an observation recorded, we'll wait for the final yields and do our evaluations on, on the payback on the product. And you can do a lot more with that phone when you're out here from a scouting perspective, right? Oh, absolutely. It has a lot of features. You can take a picture, it geo-references the picture to what you're seeing. You can scout for weed escapes, look for your volunteer corn escapes. We got a lot of Japanese beetle feeding in here, not that it's above threshold, but all these things can be recorded and, and in a position in the fields, you know, where, where the damage has been done. Uh, look for nutrient deficiencies, thankfully not seeing any here. So those are the kinds of things that you want to want to be able to record. And those are things that helped explain what the, why the yield map looks the way it looks in the fall.